Hey guys, it's Fairtex and today we're gonna talk about the never-ending topic which of course is the factions of breaking point. Lately I've been seeing a lot of traitors in game and gotta say I'm quite surprised, not because they're traitors, I love killing traitors, but because they're actually not, they actually do not recognize friend from foe. And in this video you're gonna, uh, we're gonna explain in the shortest and most simple way possible how to prevent that. First off, playing as a traitor is a legit playstyle, after all, uh, that's why the negative points are in the game. And uh, new players in the game can be, uh, they, it can be difficult for them if, uh, if they did not pay attention to the class system for the, from the beginning. And I see that uh, a lot of players asking on chat, they're asking questions like, as a ranger, am I allowed to kill other rangers? Who can rangers kill? And so on and so on. So that tells me they, that they really do not know how the factions work. Another thing is, when I play as a ranger or some other friendly class, I meet a lot of other level 1 rangers, nomads, survivalists, who ask me, are you friendly? And of course I'm friendly and I'm nuts, I got a hat on. What? Are you a hero? No, dude, this is an Arma 2 epoch. There are no heroes and bandits and you could all learn that by looking at the class selection screen before you respawn and by clicking more info. So what is the easiest way to recognize what class is someone playing and whether you should kill them or not? And the answer to that question is hats. Yes, hats guys. If we take a look at the level 1 rangers, survivalists and nomads, they all have hats. Um, okay, that was easy, but how do the level 3 and level 2 look? They also have hats, except for the survivalist, which is a gilly swamp bush monster, and is even easier to recognize. And what about the bad guys? I don't want to just go about saying I'm friendly all and you know eight people. Fuck that! I want to kill somebody and want to shoot them in the face. So how did the bad guys look? Well, first off, uh, we have the outlaws. They have half of their face covered with a bandana. Um, all three levels of outlaws. Hunters are the easiest class to recognize. Ugly stare and a crazy shine in their eyes before they hatch at you. They have a full face concealment, rather a shemag or shemag, whatever. Um, all hunters, including all levels of, uh, of, the, of that class, have their face covered. As for those hatless guys in cheap clothing, you know, the white, uh, white shirts and the blue jackets, those are called the nun class. They can kill everybody, and everybody can kill them. Be careful though, um, they can wear custom clothing, such as military fatigues, wetsuits, and ghillie suits, which can sometimes resemble the survivalist ghillie. Um, they, they will some, sometimes fool you into thinking they're survivalist, but you can easily spot the difference, uh, as, a, as the non-class ghillie suits are, you know, more, more gray color. And finally, who are you allowed to kill as a certain class? Well, it's easy. You have two sides. You have the good guys, which are the rangers, nomads, survivalists, and you have the bad guys, outlaws and hunters. With the um, non-class are like in between the two. They can play as both, and they can aid both sides because they have no point deduction or no point gain. Um, the good guys are allowed to kill outlaws, hunters, non-class, and traders of any kind. Although you can kill outlaws as a survivalist, but for a po small point deduction. As outlaws, you are allowed to kill every class except for other outlaws. They are bloodthirsty, but not, not as much as the hunters. These dudes kill everyone, literally no questions asked. And the fact that hunters uh, can, can become traders is just absurd for me. But if a hunter becomes a traitor, does that mean he's friendly now? <laughs> I'm gonna have to look into that. So guys, I tried to keep this as simple as possible. I'm glad this game is getting more and more new players daily. And I think this faction slash class system is awesome and it really helps to maintain the balance between the good guys and the so-called bandits in the game. I hope you guys enjoyed this little guide and I'll see you in the next episode.